Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about failures in software demos. So I was recently asked to sit in on a software demo. It wasn't one of our projects, but I did it as a favor. Uh, somebody said, Eric, we got this team that's been working on a project for us. I'm really not sure if they're any good, but they're about to give a demo of what they've been working on. So they've been working for the last few months. They're about to give us their first demo. Would you mind sitting in on it and give us your opinion, right? Let us know if they're good or bad or whatever. And I was at first I was kind of like, uh, I don't really want to be in a situation where I'm bad mouthing other developers because I'm sure they're working very hard. But I said yes anyway, because there's something very magical about a software demo. When the users get to see for the first time what their end project is going to look like and the developers get to, to share that experience with them. And there's something really, really magical about it. And the reason that it's magical is because something always goes wrong. I don't know what it is. There's something cosmic in effect that some cosmic forces come in that no matter how many times you tested it, no matter how many times you run through the demo, something will go wrong. And it's fun to not be the person giving the demonstration and you get to watch how they re react to it. Dude, so many times in my career, I've been in that situation where you had to show off the software to the users because everybody's excited to see it. Nobody wants to wait till it's done, obviously, and you kind of need that early feedback. So you're trying to show them how it works, but at the same time, try not to touch anything you know doesn't work right, right? And even though you've gone through it over and over and over again, something's going to go wrong. You're going to have internet issues, you're going to run out of disk space, you're going to have something that you know you worked on, somebody's gonna check something in at the last minute, it's gonna mess it up, something's gonna happen. I don't know what it is, right? You can't prevent it, just something goes wrong, right? And it's, it's funny. I mean, software demos are almost like, it's like you're putting on a show, right? You're trying to show them what it's gonna look like. You're trying to walk them through it. You don't wanna lose their confidence by having something uh, break in the middle of it. So you're very, very nervous at the time, right? And you just, you want everything to go smoothly, right? So many times in my career, I've been in a situation where I've just been ner like sick with nervousness giving a demo. I can remember once having a contract where I was working on the SharePoint application, which was just like it was the, as soon as we agreed to do the project, and it wasn't, it wasn't overpass, I was working for somebody else, and as soon as they agreed to do the project, I got an email saying, we've, we've booked a demo for three weeks time, right? I hadn't written a line of code, I wasn't even quite sure what the specifications were, and I thought, I have a demo with like 20 people who are senior managers in this contract I was working on, and I have to give a demo for it. Now, I couldn't get to sleep that night. They sent the email like at nine o'clock at night, and me, like an idiot, I checked my phone right before going to bed, and I couldn't get to sleep. And those three weeks were terrible because I was like trying to build this thing, and it wasn't, you know, and it was like, it was so unstable. It worked like half the time, right? And I remember the morning of the demo, and of course everybody else was like, oh yeah, everything's gonna be good. I'm trying to be like, trying to be cool about it. And my manager or the person who hired me, he was kind of a bit nervous too because I was like really freaking out. And I remember, go, I remember, because I was on a motorcycle, I was riding my motorcycle to work every day. And I can remember thinking, riding to this demo, I hope somebody hits me. I didn't want to die, but I thought, you know, a broken leg would be better than going in and completely embarrassing myself in front of all these people. And sure enough, yeah, something did go wrong. I made, because I was working late the night before, I made one last little change, right? And everything should be fine. And of course that one last little change kind of broke one of the key functionalities in it. So a lot of it was just glossing over that kind of stuff. And I remember the, the person who hired me wasn't, wasn't too pleased about that. But there's a few things I've learned over the years about giving a demo. First of all, something cosmic happens that something's gonna go wrong. I think the same thing about releasing a, releasing a product on a Friday. Something's gonna go wrong, especially if you're in a corporate environment and everybody goes home for the weekend, something's gonna go wrong if you try to release it on a Friday. It's a superstition I know, but I do think that. But the other thing I think is something's gonna go wrong. The, but you also wanna make sure that you keep the confidence of the, the the users. You don't want them to think you don't know what you're doing. So the main thing you need to do when something goes wrong when you're giving a demo is pretend like you expected it to happen, right? I do this all the time. A lot of times I'm still giving demos for the projects that like the developers be working on and I'm, I'm the one giving the demo to the clients and it's not ready yet and they know it's not ready yet, 
but so you'll be going through and you click on something and then you'll notice something will freeze or something you click on a button nothing happens and then you just say so as you can see we still have a few issues and then you just you know kill the application go back into it and try to pretend like you knew that was going to happen all the time even though in the back of your head you're thinking why the hell is that not working, right? And you don't want to blame anybody. And the last thing you ever want to do when something goes wrong in the middle of a demo is pretend like that should work. I don't understand it. That should work. Because that's what a lot of junior developers do. If even some senior developers, like if somebody's going, I don't understand it. I've worked on this three times. You just, and you got all these people watching you. Like I said, a room of 20 people watching me on the big screen. Like I remember clicking on one thing and it just went to, it went to like a blank screen and it was quick browser refresh. You know, you try to keep talking and do it because, you know, if it was if it was ready to be live, it would be live. But you're trying to demo this kind of stuff, and it's a lot of pressure. So yeah, if you can get in a situation where you watch somebody else give a demo, and the nice thing is, because you know something's gonna go wrong, something's not as expected, and it's like, how well do they cover that up, right? Um, we've all been there. I've been there so many. I can tell you so many stories, embarrassing stories of things that have gone wrong in in a demo that I was giving. That um, that is just it's just amazing, right? And of course, when it goes live, everything's tested, everything's done. You've got all the feedback. You know, everything goes. But um, yeah, sometimes you just in those impossible situations. So let me ask you guys. You guys are software developers. We've done this kind of stuff. What's the worst thing that's ever happened to you in a demo? Right? And how often do they fail? Most of the time, it's usually because you go to your demo's not on home turf, you gotta go to somebody else's office and their, their Wi-Fi is bad or you can't connect to their Wi-Fi or they have no internet at all. Because, oh, it's, we're in a basement, we have no internet connection. Dude, that's happened to me like at least twice. But uh, what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you, right? So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law